This is the King Boy Channel. We got a special guest right here, man. On a beer review. This is a one of a kind truck. Y'all gotta check this out. One of a kind, round body style. You do not see this. This is not your everyday truck. You do not see this right here often. This guy put in some weight, did it himself, and it's a hell of a quality beer. So let's get to it. I bought the truck then. Alright, so this is a 2005 GMC Sierra. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, I bought it last year, December of 22. I bought yeah. it stock. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I just kind of started doing stuff to it. I heard that, man. I see you got 26 by 16 wild wheels on here. Yep. Yep. Yeah, these are uh, 26 by 16 KG1 Rays. Yeah. And uh, 35, 16, 50. Um, Fury F2 twos. These these are new Fury tires right yeah. here too. Yeah. yeah. I like the way they shit too, cause a lot of the 1550 got like a uh, bubble effect to it. Yeah, yeah. it's very square setup. Yeah. Makes it look even more wider too, more aggressive in the front. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's very aggressive. So, yeah. I see you got a lot of product code. What color is this right here? You know. So this is a 2015 Chevy Silverado. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's got the uh, the Chevy Silverado logo on it. Yeah. And uh, it's got the Chevy Silverado logo on it. Yeah. And then it's got the Chevy Silverado logo on it. Yeah. It's got the Chevy Silverado logo on it. Yeah. And then it's got the Chevy Silverado logo on it. Yeah. And then it's got the Chevy Silverado logo on it. Yeah. And then it's got the Chevy Silverado logo on it. Yeah. And then it's got the Chevy Silverado logo on it. Yeah. And then it's got and I like the way you did a custom hind joint too in the front. Yeah, that's that's straight, man. Custom hind joint. You also did a chrome cross mirror too, I see. Yeah, yeah that, that hind joint helps with the tie rod because these trucks like to bend and break tie rods. Yeah. And uh, my buddy Luke Layden actually makes those. Yeah, yeah, that's what's up, man. And so, as far as so off, this is a so off lift. What size lift this is? This is an eight inch show off. Eight inch show off. You don't even look like you have the angles because you don't even have. Yeah, you don't even have a ball joint spacer. You, you got no angles whatsoever. You no, go the much higher. Good, but it, it's it's pretty tall. Yeah. Hey, okay, this truck was originally four wheel drive or originally yeah, so two. This truck was originally four wheel drive, and I ripped yeah. all that stuff out and put a two wheel drive four wheel in it. Heck yeah. The best thing we all want to know is what you got off on the hood of this thing. All the right, heart. So so this is a 210,000 mile 5.3. All right. And all I did to it was put a cam and all the goodies with the cam. Yeah. Uh, lifters, push rods, dual 660 valve springs. Um, I guess I'll just start from the top. <laughs> so this is a Holly lower ram intake that's just powder coated pink. Mm -hmm. This right here? Yeah, this right here. Gotcha. Uh, this is a Nick Williams 103 throttle body. Yeah. Um, super unnecessary. It's just one of the things that I bought to yeah. make it look good like this intake. So unnecessary. Um, between the intake is a... Uh, Take performance 1500 horsepower air to water intercooler and there's an ice box inside that uh, water stays in uh, the heads are as cast they're stock other than the, the springs there's no no porting or anything like mm -hmm. that uh, these turbos these are vs racing 67 62s yeah uh journal bearing turbos nothing special the actual turbo kit the exhaust and manifolds were made out of uh, austin texas custom for me by a performance supercar yeah uh, there's no you know, intercooler in the grill, nothing. The intercooler, the whole intercooler is between the intake. Between the intake. Yeah. And I recently did this Willwood master cylinder, and I I did a manual brake conversion, so there's no brake booster, no ABS. It's just oh. my foot. That's all it is. So it's awesome. Much you put on your foot is more brake you yeah. get. Yeah. And like the basic stuff, like a new alternator. This is a Power Master alternator with three inch motion race books pulley. Yeah, um, it's yeah. 245 amp alternator. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Other things like the snail. Yeah. Fabrication, coolant tank. Yeah. This, this, that's un unnecessary, just making it look nice. Yeah. Four row radiator with uh, electric fans and a little shroud, which this truck was. Yeah. Electric fans on it. There were no conversions for that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I have a Lingen Felter LNC 200. Yeah. Uh, two step, and what it, that allows me to do is it's a. Uh, I guess an artificial gas yeah. limiter with also a timing retard so I can pull timing but keep fuel in the, in the motor mm -hmm. so I can shoot fire. Yeah, it shoots, it shoots fire. <laughs> so what you, what you got your two-step shit at to? Uh, 4,500. 4,500. Oh, is he spitting then? Yeah. Yeah. 
Now, do this truck right here, do you have it where you can also switch the E85 anything? Yeah, or? so there is an ethanol content sensor that yeah. I installed on this, which yeah. is super easy to get in the truck, so you just pin it into the ECM. Yeah. And um, I'm able to read ethanol content. Ethanol. This is, the truck's currently on 93. 93. Um, it's making about 15 pounds of boost right now. Yeah. It's, it's set at 10, but I'm having issues with my waste case. Yeah. I've got DS racing waste case and wall off now, so it's making 15. Yeah. But our fuel tables are holding it, so I'm not leaving it out. It's actually yeah. pretty fat right now. Pretty fat, yeah. Yeah. But I mean, as far as the rest of the truck, I mean. Yeah. 2500 chrome grill. Yeah. The show off. Yeah. I did a 4 lady swap, so I bought a 99 silver auto 2500. Yeah. Um, gas and him before lady the iron block 6 0 which is not in the front sitting at the shop mm -hmm. and the 14 volt rear end. So these rear ends are pretty weak and the transmission is the virtual. Yeah. So the 4 lady swap is really easy, just black cross member bolted up to the motor, yeah. get a little wine harness on the motor, and the uh, rear end is bolted and I had a custom private drive shaft made yeah. for it. That's what's up man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and what size ejectors do you say you have? Um, so I have 1300 cc FIC injectors and then in the gas tank is a Huron speed uh, full drive tank, dual yeah. 525, uh, Marlboro tanks, 10am yeah. fuel lines, 8am yeah. um, return. Yeah. Um, so this, I built it to, to hold 1200. Yeah. This, this truck can never make 1200, yeah. maybe 800 with a new motor in it, yeah. but I just wanted everything to be strong and solid. I didn't want to skip a Man, that's solid, man. That's straight. That's straight. I like that, man. I like that. Heck yeah. 30, so 1300 cc would be equivalent to like 100 pounds of ejectors, similar to that style. I actually don't know what the conversion is. All I know is that on pump gas, yeah. uh, if the motor combo can hold it, yeah. it, should, it should be able to make a thousand mm -hmm. uh, with E, maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. It yeah. might not be enough ejectors. Yeah. I know a lot of people. Uh, people were telling me because I also want to build a 60, and then people were telling me to run a uh, a Bosch 210 or uh, 1300 cc. They said they they equivalent to like a thousand horsepower on alcohol. So when you said 1300 cc, I was like, that's, I think that's equivalent to a hundred pounds of ejector. I'm not yeah, really I'm not, for sure, it's but a lot of uh, yeah. We're right now. I'm, my dude is having about 50 percent. Yeah. We're in a full full throttle. So. Uh, so, and we don't, I don't know how much power it makes. I've yeah. never dynoed it. Yeah. I think, I mean, 15 pounds of boost, 5.3. I mean, theoretically yeah. speaking, it should double my horsepower. So yeah. it might make 600, but I'd say 455. 455. Something like that. Uh, one last question. Here. A lot of people ask me when they, when they talk about boost, how is your gas mileage? Oh, I, I don't even know. I don't even know. <laughs> All I know is that. <laughs> probably I fill between. It up every day. I feel it. Yeah. For sure. So you're probably getting about eight miles a gallon oh, somewhere. No, yeah. I'm probably like three or four. Three or four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Heck yeah, man. I mean, this is one of the kind of a beer, man. You got an Instagram, anything you want to post yeah, on here? Yeah, so my Instagram is just chris.musg. Mm -hmm. um, just go follow me and check the truck out there. Heck yeah, man. Well, I appreciate you, man, doing this video with me, man. You got one of a kind beer, dude. I appreciate it. I'm telling you. We at Scraping the Coast, y'all see it. There's a lot of going on. That's that deep meat. And man, this is a one of a kind beer. Look at this right here. I'm talking about awesome. As a matter of fact, what is that right there for Lance Custom? What is that? Is that your uh, is that your oil reservoir? No, that is a coolant reservoir. A coolant reservoir. Yep. Oh, I like that. That's nice right there. And you got a cannon survival for that right there. Yeah, then. that's a that's a catch can. Catch can, catch can. That catch can helps you for if a turbo ever have a explode or something. It catches the metal. That's how a catch can works. No, no. The way a catch can works is uh, yeah. It's it's your crank ventilation system. And yeah. Instead of it recycling and putting it into the intake, which is how a stock truck would work. Yeah. Um, it, it puts it into this catch can and it just vents to the atmosphere. Vents in the air. Okay. So okay. Like, with the turbos, you might get a little bit of blow by yeah. the piston rings. Mm -hmm. with, a lot of boost and um, it vents that, that pressure out of the mm. crankcase. Mm. It kind of keeps them from smoking in it so too. A little yeah, bit, it smokes yeah. a little bit because it's, it's oil and, and a little bit of moisture. Mm. If you let like engine or transmission sit for a while, you yeah. have more moisture inside of it, yeah. so it burns that off. It burns that off. And that, this extra exhaust pad right here is actually yeah. for wastegate. Right yeah, that's, that's the wastegate Wastegate, too. okay, yeah. wastegate. And that's titanium right there as well? No, it's stainless steel. Stainless steel. That's nice. I like the way it take the colors in it and stuff. Yeah. You know, and this looks like a one-off too. You must have had it custom yeah, fabricated. Yeah, this, this was custom fabricated. Heck yeah, that's nice, man. Yeah. And are you able to put the hood on it? No, no. I mean, <laughs> if I take the exhaust off, I can put the hood on it, and that's how we transport it. Yeah. Put the hood on it to put it on the trailer just in case it rains, so nothing flies in the engine bay. Yeah. And whatnot. Yeah. It's pretty easy to take off. It's two bolts. Do you ever have to worry about having the uh, open, uh, open turbo? With, so, without having a filter. It's, it's mixed. It depends who you talk to. Honestly, yeah. I'm not really worried about it. Yeah. I don't care about this motor. This motor is a test subject. So I did all this work myself, other than making yeah. the turbo get the welding. Yeah. So I mean, I, I kind of don't care. Yeah. Um, if I put that iron yeah. block 6.0 in here, that'll be a build yeah. rotating assembly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
Um, I'll probably put filters on the I just think it looks so much better. You know? It does, dude. And you probably get, I mean, you definitely gaining horsepower from that right there, having to open out. That filter probably kind of sucks, blocks the air a little bit, a little bit. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah. I mean, if, if there were a restriction on the turbo, yeah. um, I mean, the the wastegates yeah. regulate exhaust pressure. So, yeah. I mean, it would just, yeah. I don't know, it would fix itself. It fixes, yeah. That's what's up, man. But yeah, I appreciate you doing this video, man. I'm the King Boys, but, and uh, that's one of the other King Boys right there. <laughs> but heck yeah, man. I appreciate you having me on the channel, man. Yes, sir. Thank so, you. And yeah. Bro, <coughs> Popo got my guy. Popo got my boy, man. I'll be damned. And the thing about it, man, he wasn't even, wasn't even doing it. He wasn't even doing it. All he did was come up to the stop sign to turn in the parking lot and make on his tail as soon as he got I can make a chick in my sleep. I stay in my lane like a street. Only walk the range for a week. It's trending bands for the seats.